All right, folks, Tim here from uh, High End Chief Tech. Uh, we're going to keep this super short. We're going to try to keep it under five minutes. Make sure you check the link or the description below for all the links to the products we're using and the phone I'm going to mention as an alternative to the Mi A3. We're shooting on the Mi A3 much, you know, against my better judgment, but we'll see. Uh, and on that note, we're going to move on. Yesterday I mentioned in a very long video where I was talking about Xiaomi using binned parts on their Redmi Note 8 and on this phone and putting out crap software and crap software updates. Well, they sent out, you know, the security update. It was 169 meg, and I'm thinking, damn, it's awfully large, but I installed it. And it was just about the same size as that last firmware slash update that we all needed before we could get Android 10. Yeah, the one that kind of broke the phone to a point where it became useless within a day or two. So later in the day, I got the, uh, I rebooted the Mi A2, the one that works perfectly. And has no issues, has had Android 10 forever. <sighs> and guess what? It's 28 meg. So all I need is an answer. Why the frickin' difference in security patches? That wasn't just a security patch, but they said it was. So they lied. What's new? From the Chinese. They, you know, the Chinese will sell you a cheeseburger made with crab meat and go, Oh, cheeseburger! And you go, this is made out of crab. You like! And they don't care if they fucked you. Oops. Excuse my French there. Effed you. Oh, well, deal with it. I don't have enough subscribers, and I'm worried about getting demonetized. All right. Uh, once in a while, you just have to say the words. So, all that being said, if you're going to buy a phone that's very similar to this, get the P, the Huawei P30 Lite. I know they're spying on it. All of us, and you know what? I don't care right now. God forbid if they know I go to Sonic and McDonald's and Dollar General and the Katie's restaurant. I don't care. Google already knows that. So that's all I have for today. Uh, there will be a link to that P30 Lite. It's a very good phone. If you go over to Red Skull site, he did a video on it. I think the pictures on there are a bit misleading. They show the fingerprint reader being in the back. I believe it's on the power switch. And there's some issues as to whether you're getting a 24 megapixel uh, main shooter or a 48. And uh, I found that when I looked at the specs on GSM Arena. They said it varies. And, you know, of course, the information on Amazon is on phones is usually pretty far inaccurate a lot of times. So we don't know. Either way, it's a damn good camera. And it's an AI camera and it's gonna get the job done. And it's not gonna break the bank and it comes with a hundred and twenty eight meg or gig on board. It does have micro SD expandability. You probably will never use it, but it'd be cool to stick one of my old cards in when I get one. And uh, see if, you know, one of the cards that uh, Xiaomi say, the SD card just goes in and says, yeah, four minutes internal. That's all I got. Ooh. We're under five minutes. We'll catch you in the next one. Have a great day.